I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Well, hello and welcome. This is PLS Tips with Manny. I am your host, Manny Demand Lopez, and today we're going to be talking about the five mistakes that marketers are making. All right, so there's a lot of different things we can discuss, but I'm just going to give you my five favorite things that really I typically are teaching on an ongoing basis to every marketer I come across and that they are failing to do on a consistent basis or just being within their business. So today uh, we're going to start going over those topics. The first one that we are going to discuss is spamming. All right, I see a lot of spamming a lot of times by marketers thinking they can just go and share their content out there, share their links, share their sign up pages, their sales funnels, their landing pages, and not build any value. They're not giving any, any reason for them to do business with you. You got to understand if you're just going to go out there and spam your link, then you are not going to get the right type of people that you want to attract to your business. You want people that are not only going to sign up for your service, but also be a mouthpiece for your business. So that's one thing that I've seen a lot of that can definitely use some help. So when you're going out there and you're promoting your business, do not spam. Build the relationship. Talk to the people that you want to do business with. Pick and choose and be selective. You know, it's not just about blanketing everything and seeing what sticks. You want to go ahead and showcase people that you know are going to see value in what you have to offer. Okay, the next thing we're going to be talking about is number two, giving up too quickly. I don't know if you knew this, but it takes usually five to seven contacts with a prospect about your business providing value to get them to take action, to get them to do business with you. So most businesses, businesses, businesses and marketers are giving up after two, two to three chances that they're trying to go after that business thinking, oh, if I keep going, I'm just going to be annoying them or they're not going to want to hear it. You got to understand it takes usually five to seven contacts for them to do business with you. So if you haven't asked for that business at least seven times, then keep going. Keep consistently providing value to them so they know that you're serious and that you are a consistent person with your business and you know you really don't want to just ask them for their business. You want to show them why they need to do business with you, why you have value, why you can facilitate the needs that they have to get them where they want to be. All people want to see is value that you have that you can give them and also a way for you to fix something that they have in their business, whether it be, you know, giving them more time for themselves, giving them more automation, giving them more prospects, giving them more resources, more training, something that's going to be something they cannot get on their own that you are going to be able to provide for them. So that is number two is making sure you do not give up too quickly in what you're offering. The next thing, number three, okay, failing to be different. Okay. Keep in mind, if you're just using everything everybody else is using and promoting yourself the same way everybody else is promoting, you're going to get lost in the crowd. You want to be different. You want to be unique. Come up with something that is going to give you a unique value. Like you see with my videos, I don't just throw out a hangout. I don't just go and make myself live and just do what everybody else does. You see the difference in the way I put together my videos and the way I put together my training and the way I position myself out there. It's different. It's unique. It's what gets people to find me and pay attention to what I'm doing. So make sure if you're going out there and you're promoting yourself online or promoting yourself offline, you're being different. You find something that's you. Find something that's a niche. There's 7 billion people in this world. Don't think that you have to conform to be something that you are not. Okay, there's a network out there, there's a niche out there that's going to love the way you are and I mean just bring in yourself a thousand people, that's like you know a tenth of a percent, a seventh of a percent, a seven hundredth of a percent of the actual people out there that are available to you, you're going to be a, a millionaire. You know, So you just find yourself the right type of person that you can do business with, the right type of market and be yourself. Once you're yourself, you're going to see the people that attract to you are those type of customers you want. Number four, consistent value. This kind of goes back into that five to seven contacts. When you're being consistent in your value, okay, you're not just doing, you know, once a month putting something out or 
once every couple of months, you're being consistent in providing value to your network of influence, they're going to see value in that. They're going to see that, wow, this guy is, is always out there. He's always doing his thing. I get this all the time. People say, how are you doing all this stuff? You're doing events over here in Beverly Hills. You got your own events that you host. You're doing online videos. You're doing one-on-one -on -one consultations. You're building all these apps. You're doing all these things that, you know, that a lot of people just think, wow, I could barely even do one of those, let alone all of them. When you're being consistent, you put in a routine of consistent value that you're putting out there, people will take notice and you are going to catch on. So always be consistent in providing value, providing uniqueness, and that goes along with education. You know, be a sponge for knowledge. Go out there and learn about your industry. Become an expert in your industry because when you do that, you know, really people will start noticing that you have value, even if they didn't see you before because they're going to see that consistency of you're always putting something out, always teaching others, always learning, always being something and doing something with your business and doing something with your industry. And the last thing that I see marketers needing help in is duplication. Okay, Duplication is very key when you're online and you want to grow a team, you want to grow your network of influence, you want to grow your fan base. Duplication is very, very important. You want to make something so simple that you can literally put maybe a one video, a series of videos that can get people to do exactly what you're doing. Make it duplicatable. When you can make it duplicatable, you can now leverage other people's efforts. And I'd rather have 10% of 100 people than 100% of myself. Because obviously 10% of 100 is what? It's a thousand percent of what you can produce. It's like having 10 versions of you, only producing a tenth of what you can do. So that's really key is duplication in my business, is making it to where I'm not just the only person doing everything, but I can duplicate my efforts to other people so I can lessen the workload on myself. So make yourself duplicatable. So just a quick recap. First thing you have is spamming, okay? Five mistakes marketers are making. One is spamming, okay? The other one is giving up too quickly. The other one is failing to be different. So making sure you're, you're unique, you know? Uh, next is being a, having a consistent value. And lastly is making it duplicatable. So these are the five mistakes that I see marketers making are too often. And this is something that we can all learn from. Um, so if you see some value with this video, share it with your team, let people know how you can get some help on this and, you know, just be a resource of value. If you can go out there and not only be the person providing that value, but being a resource to other people that have value, you can really make yourself positioned as a leader in your industry. And that's what a lot of people are doing out there. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, see what you can do on, on making sure that you're providing value to your network. You know, copy what I do, become a, a resource of value to your own network and just learn what we do here and apply them to your business. And I guarantee you, you are going to see results. So I'll keep it short and simple. This is what, about a seven minute, eight minute video right now. So uh, as they like to do with our PLS tips videos, I like to keep them short so you guys can get back to doing business. And again, I will see you here next week. Always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great one. I believe we are created for greatness not mediocrity, that we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.